Welcome back to Dixie State Fall Sports Media Day, live on television, radio, and internet. Our next team won 11 games last season, the most in his program since 2010. It's my pleasure to welcome women's soccer to the set of Media Day. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Coach, we've spoken in the past, and I know your goal is to improve and specifically to win more games than you did the year before. Through your first three years here, that's definitely proved uh, to be the case. You've got a solid core offensively and defensively coming back this year, and it seems like you're in a great spot for women's soccer to continue that progression in 2016. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we've talked a lot about what our goals are for this upcoming season. And in the past, our goal has been improve, um, get to the top of our conference. But we've talked about, is that our goal still? Um, and the team's been pretty adamant that that's no longer our goal. Our goal is um, simply to win the conference. So they're, they're focused on that right now. And we're doing what we can to prepare. And um, we're, we're definitely strong um, returning defensively. and. Uh, we'll need a little bit more work on the attacking end to get it rolling, but we've we've got a really good returning group. Questions from our media, Coach. I remember interviewing you a couple of years ago before the season began, and and uh, you said you had to make an adjustment that was frustrating with the lowering of the age of the not only for the boys but the girls in the LDS Church Mission. You were losing players, and now you're starting to get some players back. Or last year you got some players mm -hmm. back too. Have you adjusted recruiting wise with that 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 new uh, better than you were a couple of years ago? Definitely. We brought in a large class for 2015. We had 17 new players, so that's obviously going to be an adjustment for everybody which, with now a huge chunk of that team returning um, and just bringing in you know, fewer players this year. I think it's going to make a big difference in our performance. Coach, talk schedule with me for just a second. You know, non-conference. I know inside conference you get them as they come, and mm -hmm. every year you play them a little bit different time. But do you do you like the non-conference games, and do you like how the Pac West schedule lays out for this season? Yeah, I mean, we've talked about what our schedule looks like so far this year, and I mean, there's no doubt that the first half of our season is the biggest part of our season. So we uh, we play some really tough teams, um, non-conference games. You know, Sonoma's top 25 in the nation. We play Seattle Pacific, who's always one of those top teams. And then our first two games are um, in conference play, Azusa Pacific and Point Loma, which is number one and number two um, in our conference, let alone I think Azusa's in at number 12 nationally right now. So um, those are all within, you know, the first really month of our season that's going to make a big difference how we do in those games. Coach, you were, you, your team was able to score a lot of goals last year. Do you, um, do you sort of expect that to increase or drop a little bit? Or you know, where does the attack stand right now? Uh, the attack is going to be new. So uh, luckily, we do have Darian, who's on our panel, returning and was a big part in our success um, the past two years up top. So you know, we expect her to, to lead our offense. Uh, but we're going to have to have some new supporting roles. So it depends on how quickly those kids can come in and get it going for us. Coach, uh, four of your losses last year by, or by one goal. Mm -hmm. And I remember talking in the past saying, you know, the, the whole game is so important because one play can, can change it uh, around. Have, have you, uh, uh, do you feel confident uh, with, with the, the team you have this year that, You'll be winning a lot of those one one goal games, and have you, what what do you do to change the change the turnaround? I know you won a lot yeah. of one goal games as well. But. Uh, I think we talked a lot about defense even this preseason. I mean, we bottom line is if we want to accomplish our goals, we cannot give up as many goals as we did last last year. Um, but we're coming back really hopeful because we had a great spring season and our defense did really well. We made a ton of improvements. Um, and we only have, you know, two new defenders coming in to our team, and we've got, you know, eight to ten returning defenders. So we expect defense to really get it going for us, and um, that's been one, our number, probably number one topic that we've talked about um, for how we need to approach this fall. Question for Coach Reed. Coach, you guys shot about 16 shots a game. Opponents only 11 per game. What do you what do you thought What are your thoughts when I say that out loud? And what will you try to do better? I mean, is there a golden number of shots you try to go into every game getting? Um, yeah, I think we more try to push it on our forwards to have a goal to have to take so many shots per game because that's that's their main job is to shoot the ball and 
to try and score goals for us. But I think also um, the way the girls have been playing, the diversity of the attack is we're going to be so dangerous because there's not only one way we can score a goal. There's so many different ways. So I think, you know, moving forward and with our new, you know, if our new forwards can pick up these diverse runs and be creative, I think we could be very dangerous and score more goals. Montana, your team's losses last year in conference, you know, especially to the top teams in the conference, they sort of burned you with a lot of goals. What sort of adjustments have you, or have the, has the defense been making in the, um, in the off season to make sure or to try and limit that? Um, just like Coach said before, our uh, big focus throughout the spring was really just like solidifying our back line. And so we did a really good job of um, coming together and trying to figure it out. We didn't give up many goals in the spring season. And like she said, we've got a lot of returners coming. So we're pretty hopeful with how things will go. Coach, with the goalkeepers, Stacy graduated, but last year you also used uh, Sarah and Danica an equal amount. Are you going to look to do that sort of the same this year, or are you going to try and pick a starting goalkeeper? Uh, well, it's going to be different in our goal this year for sure. We've had uh, a player, um, Angie, she's from Sweden. She's been on our roster basically since I've come, but has dealt with injury year after year, but is a tremendous goalkeeper. Uh, this will be her senior year competing. We're really hoping to get her in the mix um, and would like to have a primary starting goalkeeper, uh, but we do also have, you know, returning players and a new keeper that are all competitive. So we're still filling out that keeper spot, um, but we would like to be able to solidify one keeper and be consistent with it. <clears throat> Question for, for Megan, senior midfielder. Uh, you had a goal last year, an assist last year as well. How often do you get to push up in that attack or you stay back and you help with the defense more? Um, well, our formation, we play a 4-3-3. So we have one holding mid and then two attacking. And so um, for me, I usually am staying up. And I also, before I switched to midfielder, I was a forward. So I'm really used to making those forward runs and getting up into the attack and, um, and then also making sure that we're all getting back and helping on defense as well. So. But I feel like we are two midfielders that are um, attacking get get in the mix quite a bit. And then question for for Darian as well. One of the you know your returning leading goal scorer, seven goals last year. Um, and you looked at last year it was a year where you were replacing the leading goal scorer that year, and you were able to step up and kind of fill that role. How will you do the same this year to kind of show the younger players coming in and say this, this is what we've got to do? We've got to put <coughs> the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, I mean, definitely last year my goal was to step up. We obviously lost a big goal scorer, but this year uh, the goal is just to continue improving. You know, there's there's opportunities on the field throughout the whole game, and we just hope to get the new girls in the mix, and hopefully, you know, we can come up with something up top. This question for any of the players. You know, last year you had a lot of road trips, a lot more than home games. This year it's kind of reversed. But uh, a lot of times on those road trips the team unifies a lot. They get to do a lot more. This year, uh, especially with some, some of you being married, what, how's the off the field unity? Is it, do you guys still do a lot of things together? Or are you guys pretty tight as a, as, a, as a squad? So this year we actually all came down um, in July instead of August. So we've got that extra month behind us and we all feel like we know everybody a lot better than we did last year. We're meshing, we've been working hard, playing every day since July, so. Um, I don't think we'll have a problem with that at all. Did that make the conditioning test a little easier the other day? Uh, still hard, <laughs> but it was easier. <laughs> hey, I don't know if you're aware, but uh, you guys were picked fifth in the conference. It was just released. Coach, what's your immediate reaction to that and players, your reaction as well? Uh, my reaction is that's fair. I mean, that's where we ended up last year. It's fair. Uh, it's, you know, we've got to earn something more if that's what we want. And I think that's what the girls understand too is that nothing's handed out so um, we've got to go in and earn it if we want it we'll earn it what do you think is the most important thing or biggest thing that as a team you have to do this year to compete for a conference title or you know if not finish higher than fifth you want one of the ladies to answer this or sure either um basically in order to win the conference our goal is to win every game and so that's our plan every we're going to take one game at a time but our goal is to sweep the conference. 
And not only that, but also practicing like a champion, basically. So we're going to make sure that, you know, we had a conversation about it earlier today that if we want to be the best, we have to play like the best. So we're really focusing on that in practice as well as games to just make sure that we are doing our best. And doing all the right things that will get us there because uh, we uh, are not happy with fifth place. Well, our time is up for, for Win Soccer. We appreciate you stopping by and we wish you the best of luck and hope that you can finish atop the conference this season. We'll be behind you uh, all the way.